You've heard it over and over. Testing is key to finding coronavirus outbreaks and getting them under control. But when many are waiting a week or more for results, it's clear something in the system is broken. A simple device created by a Tampa Bay area doctor could be the answer. But as 10 Tampa Bay's Emerald Morrow reports, there are still hurdles to clear. I really want to make a difference. And we have something that's proven to do just that. That something is a test called Febridex, cited in the Journal of Infection for its ability to distinguish between bacterial and viral infections in 10 minutes or less. And if they're viral, then they could have a higher risk or probability of having COVID-19. Those patients could then be prioritized to have the confirmatory testing. That's huge. A public health expert at USF says this kind of test could reduce the use of unnecessary antibiotics. Another doctor says it could be key to cutting down wait times for COVID-19 tests. It might help triage or able us to make determination to who does need COVID-19 testing and who doesn't. Dr. Elliot Godofsky of Manatee County speaks from his clinical trial experience with the test. This would make a giant strides in getting us out from under the pressure that this pandemic is putting on us. This test is used in UK hospitals and University of Southampton researchers just reported how the device could reduce COVID-19 spread in hospitals. But the test Dr. Rob Samberski of Sarasota worked to develop still needs FDA approval here. We moved forward with a U.S. pivotal trial with the FDA that was unfortunately interrupted by the pandemic. To get faster approval, the FDA requires something that looks at a specific virus. While this test will not show if you have COVID-19, developers say its ability to detect any virus at all could be exactly what we need during this unpredictable time. We're sitting on something that could have a profound impact on helping people. Ironically, developers of this test partnered with the Department of Homeland Security years ago due to the concern of a potential pandemic. Dr. Samberski says his company is working on a regulatory strategy to get the test approved here in the U.S. and plans to use data from the U.K. and publish studies to support that effort.